G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and long time no see. I just got back from a holiday and before I left I made a video saying that I won't be doing videos for a few weeks and this was why. I went away on a holiday with my wife, just her and I. Uh, we went to Vietnam, Laos and Thailand and I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that now but I got back late last night first thing I wanted to do today was get back on YouTube and say hello to you guys, love you guys, all the support and I mean while I was away I got a heap of subscribers and uh, the channel's just rolling on and I just feel like uh, so invigorated to, to get back into my YouTubing and my writing now especially after this break and all the things that I learnt on this holiday which I will talk more about later. Um, but it was a fantastic time. It wasn't, I didn't like see this corny t-shirt. That's not what the holiday was about. I didn't get that overseas. I got that from my kids a year back or so for Father's Day. They brought that locally here. No, the holiday was about, yeah, my wife and I and getting away and just having a break because we hadn't, since our honeymoon 14 years ago, we hadn't gone away together, just her and I. Oh, boy, it was really good really good for our relationship and, and just we're both food lovers and cultural lovers uh, so this is really enlightening and uh, but cuisine wise oh, it really hit the nail on the head because you know my lifestyle our lifestyle it's growing a lot of plants to eat food plants and one of the easiest cuisines for growing your own food is Asian type cooking and, and food growing because they've got a similar climate to ours. They grow very simple and easy food and but packs a lot of flavour if you cook it right and it's actually quite simple to prepare. But you do, there's a few fundamentals and what I really wanted to do and my wife wanted to do was see how the locals really pre prepare their food and we had a homestay in Sapa. Uh, lots of things to tell you guys. Uh, look, I just, I can't, keep going otherwise I'd go for an hour. I just wanted to make this a quick video to say I'm back on board and excited to get back into my writing and YouTubing. Uh, I haven't had a look at my veggie garden yet and I was keen to get around and see what uh, has grow, grown since I've been back and what's gone to seed and what's buggered or whatever. Uh, so I'll get into that, I'll take you around, we'll have a quick look, I won't take too much time, I'll go through it fast, I just, I'm just keen myself to see how it's looking. Uh, and then over the next several months I'll be using all the stuff that I've learnt overseas on the Asian trip uh, to, to show you guys uh, uh, the growing techniques that I learnt and studied, the cooking, um, the flavours and all that where we went through Asia. I'm, I'm rambling but I'm excited. Okay let's go and have a look at the patch. We'll just start from the beginning. A lot of this I can see, a lot of these greens have gone to seed, which is what usually happens anyway, but being away for 16 days is amazing how overgrown and everything is. The lawn needs doing, clover's coming through the grass, I need to knock it all down, I need to whip a snip around the fruit trees, but let's have a look at the patch. This is a squash, it is just huge, and so are the squashes. Oh, goodness gracious. Don't normally let my squash get this big, of course, um, because they can tend to get a bit woody when they get that size. I like the squash around this size here. They're nice. But they've got a ton of squash there. More squash here. There's heaps in there. Um, I won't keep going and showing. That's not too bad this size. Still getting a bit woody. Still prefer them small. That's better. But they look beautiful and healthy. A whole heap of butter beans. Looking a bit big now. Uh, they get a bit stringy as they get too big. Probably keep these for seed. My peas are all died off. But I've got dried peas now. The next season. It's going to get too hot to plant. But these will go into a seed packet and in my drawer. And uh, I will plant them next winter. Dill, dill's come up. Well, I wonder if my cucumbers are, are still growing because I'll need that dill. 
and some dill here going to seed. Coriander's gone to seed. I've got these um, tiny mi um, mini tomatoes. This is just rootstock, rootstock tomato, full of seeds. But you know, this will grow where no other tomato will through our summer. Mm, and they taste nice. Mm. Okay. I'd pot it up and have a cardo here. It hasn't got enough water. I should have put that onto an automatic watering system. Looks like it's died off. Gonna have to get some water into that ASAP, see if I can save it. I just grew that avocado from seed. I was gonna uh, use that to do, to graft on a, a piece of avocado from one of my other trees and plant that one. There was an experiment I had going that's, that's a bit of a disaster. Kale's still going strong. Still looking good, even though the weather's heating up. So that's a positive. The spinach is all going up and it looks like it's going to seed. They're all they're all stuffed. Kale's still fine. So I'll get I'll probably pickle some of this now. Got some corn here growing. This was this corn just was self-seeded. I really we planted it at the wrong time. But I'll probably get a few cobs out of it. Celery. That's looking okay. No big stalks or anything. But that's still good and edible. Oh boy. Lots of lots of cherry tomatoes. Um, yeah, that's good. Well, we've got some chilies coming up here. So they've survived without me here. This is just a new plant. It's some type of bird's eye chilli. Can't remember exactly now. Well, that's good. Of course, all these brachias, like these cauliflowers, have gone to seed. Yeah. Beetroot, they need to be picked. Not too bad. I can't, there's a few, quite a few beetroot amongst the weeds there. Here's a cauliflower that, uh, hmm, yeah, you might be able to salvage a bit out of that to eat for dinner tonight. There's a cabbage moth grub on it. These are the Brussels sprouts. Can't see any Brussels sprouts coming off it. This is the brood kale, so it's supposed to have um, small little kale Brussels sprout thingies coming off it, which it doesn't. Well, that's what I expected. Maybe it's still still going to produce them soon. We'll see. So it hasn't yet, but their plants are big. Beautiful stem on it. And I've got a couple of tomatoes gone crazy. Going to seed this sprouting broccoli. Oh no. This is what I was afraid of. Although I need to pick these cabbages and pickle them. I thought going away for this snap holiday that I'd come back and they'd be ruined but they're okay. I can see this one here. A bird's gotten into it. Probably a cockatoo or something. And it's uh, stuffed it. But I should be able to cut that bit out. I need to do this in the next day or two. But all these heads look fantastic. Thank God that they're all right. And they haven't been all destroyed. The leeks. We've got a bit of rain here. I didn't put this on a watering system. It's still a bit damp down there. I probably need to give it all a good water. These are radishes. They've all gone to seed, all big and seedy, that's fine. The leeks need a bit of water. Nice looking leaf growing there. Strawberries, still growing okay. Oh, the carrots need water. That's not good. They're, the, uh, they're wilting. If I can get water on them now, I'll be able to save them without much too much damage. But this was my cab this is my carrot bed of uh, different coloured carrots, organic carrots. Really grew beautifully. More than I better than I expected. Lovely. 
yeah, get some water into that and that should be fine. Behind that, I planted a bunch of chilies and the tomato must have self-seeded in there and gone crazy. Got some lettuce here and that all needs water, but they're going all right. These are, these are a perennial capsicum that I, that I grew from seed. And they're looking a bit sad, to be honest. And some jalapenos, which have been defruited by something. Yeah, it's looking like a jungle, but it's covered by weeds. Long, hot cayenne. It's growing all right. Everything gone to seed here, all those Asian greens that I was growing. And in here I've got a couple of chili plants. All the tomatoes have fallen off. They're on the ground. I need to clean all that up. Cucumber. At least that's growing all right. There's some small fruit on it. Brilliant. So that hasn't died. That's growing nicely. One there. I'll, I'll, I'll train that up. Let it flop back down. That cucumber. See, I replaced once that I knew that tomato was dying off. It'd be replaced by the peppers and by the cucumber. So I just got to de-weed it. Give it a bit of fertilizer and give it a water. Here I planted some cucumbers as well, along with, with this big dill that, that was self-seeded there. I don't know how it got there. And the cucumbers are looking a little bit like they need water. They haven't grown terrific. Mm. A few, lots of weeds. You know, go away for two weeks in a place that's covered in weeds. Uh, oregano. That's died back. Everything here needs water. I thought I'd get enough water. That's why I didn't hook up the watering system. I don't like having the watering system running. Just the power costs, really. Mint is dying back, but I expect that anyway. Because summer's here. All the tomatoes, a lot of the bigger, larger ones have been hit by fruit fly. I can see they're all stuffed. That's all right, get rid of them. Yeah, everything needs water. I'll probably put my big watering system on and just give it a good hit after I finish this video. This sweet potato, probably starting to grow well now that summer's hit. Chilies, some tomato frames there. The tomatoes are long gone. Weeds taking over this area here. This is where I want to grow the gourds. And I've got to fix that up. Well, oh boy, I've got some work to do. And this bed here is where I'm growing the onions and garlic. Still looks all right. Over this side, I had the potatoes. They've all died back. We're interested to see what's uh, what's under that and I'll do a separate potato reveal video for that one because I've got it from way to go. Um, on the other bed, there was some potatoes that's mixed up with all the bok choy that's all gone to seed. I'm not going to even take you there. Um, yeah, and on the other side here is where, oh, it's just covered in weeds. This was all bare when I left. This is the, my asparagus, which will start to be coming through now. I need to still cut that back and, and refurbish that bed and give it some fertilizer and more mulch so that asparagus can grow nicely for me this season. And there's some ginger on the other side of that that's covered in weeds at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So veggie patch, looking a bit sad, I have to say. Looking a tad sad. I'll just go through and have a look at my tank because I've got some eggplant and other things growing on the tank that I had hooked up to a solar automatic watering system. And some small seedlings that I've been growing, dragon fruit and that. It looks like the watering system hasn't been on. I 
tank slow. Wonder if the solar watering system is buggered or if it's just the water's too low. I'll have to fill that tank up through from my bore. So I'll need to water all this. These are the eggplants that I cut back from last season. I've, cut, I've pruned them back and I'm hoping for a new flush of growth this season. And in the, these pots here, I've got um, Kia apples. They're a, they're a South African fruit. And I'm just starting these seeds. I started them off from seed. And you've got to have a male and a female. I'm going to plant them out the front garden like an ornamental cross food plant because they, they make a hedge about a metre and a half high. Got some strawberries on the other side here. Still fruiting. So they haven't... So this must have stopped just recently. So it's done its job. Oh yeah. There's a light on here. So it's, it hasn't run out of power. Just gonna have to check to see if that's working once I get more water in that, but I've got to go through and water this whole place. It's all about it. All right. That'll do. It's good to be back. Had a terrific holiday, but you can't holiday forever. And to be honest, I'm edging to get into my writing and the YouTube videos. So, thanks for watching. You know, thanks again for all your support over the last six months or so. It's been a bit of a roller coaster up and down. I've got plenty in store for you coming up. Um, like I said, I'm so motivated. I, I can't believe myself. And uh, yeah, so watch this space. All right. Bye for now.